I recall the story of the recovery of the battle spire, as it was told to me by the son of old Kimir these many years ago. How the legions of Daedra Lord Mehrunes Dagon overran the spire, aided by betrayal. How a young hero from obscure origins entered the battle spire, proving ground and testing facility for the Shadow Legion, the Imperial Guard, and finding his test was more than he bargained for. Thinking this was only a harmless test of his skills, he enters the spire through the Pillar of Light and finds a hell created by the betrayal of the Legion and the perfidy of Jaeger Tharn, arch-traitor to the Empire. That asshole! And so, our story begins. I was wondering why there was no music. Thank goodness there is. Holy shit, this looks amazing. Okay. Well, welcome to Battle Spy. That was an interesting opening. That's a pretty sick fucking tower. So I believe the story of this takes place during Arena, <clears throat> which is the first game in the Elder Scrolls, with Jagathan being the asshole that took over and imprisoned. Uh... So while uh, Leo, the female Khajiit, is running around Tamriel doing shit. We're going to have a different character, with a different name, running around the Battle Spire, which I think is in Oblivion? I'm not entirely sure. This game has multiplayer. I have no idea what that is. Oh, also, I realized, I just realized that I'm supposed to be timing this. Whoops. <laughs> I'm supposed to be timing this because uh, we're only doing 15 minute episodes for this game. Because this is not a day by day playthrough. Unlike the previous uh, Elder Scrolls games. Alright, so this game is kind of tricky and buggy and crashes a lot. And I was kind of worried that there was no music. Maybe there still is no music. I, I'm not sure. I feel like there should have been music in that first part where the guy was talking. But, oh, whatever. Let's make it. Let's make a character. <clears throat> Having distinguished yourself in preliminary tournaments, you have been chosen to travel the battle spire for further testing. Sounds like a testing grant, yeah. By the immemorial custom of the candidate's challenge, your choice of arms, armor, and equipment is strictly limited. You have time, you have little time to prepare, so choose wisely among the skills, spells, disciplines, and equipment you will polish to the highest level before you are teleported to Battlespire. Okay. So, today we're not going to be Leo. I'm going to be my generic female character, Yokali. Which might have seen in the past. It's kind of stupid because I keep calling my character Leo, but I keep making my character female. Leo's supposed to be the male character, but yeah. It's fine. 
Each time we alien culture is known for its distinctive abilities, insight skills, and disciplines. Each race receives bonuses for various skills. To review a description of each race and an associated skill bonus, click on the race with the yada yada yada. Okay. Or you can just go to the wiki, like I did. Now, I've, I've played around with the character creator quite a bit. And I've actually already gone through and made a class. Thankfully, in this game, unlike in uh, Daggerfall, it actually saves the class that you made. So we should be able to... I'm a little bit torn, actually. We'll come, we'll come to that in a minute. Because I've made a character, I actually have a save of, like, the, the just starting the game. But I kind of want to redo it because in this game, you can talk to uh, enemies. And not like the talking mechanic in Daggerfall, which almost never worked, but I think talking just resulted in the uh, enemy becoming passive and not attacking you. In this game, you can actually have conversations with enemies and, like, get information and items and stuff. Kind of like the talking mechanic in... Uh, in uh, Persona 2, or even Persona 1, but mainly Persona 2 is what I'm thinking of. Um, so, I initially made my character with, like, the lowest amount of personality, like I did Daggerfall. But maybe I should have better personality. I mean, this isn't my, this isn't my Leo character, this is a different character. But, now, <clears throat> I kind of want to try out all the different races. Which is a problem, because there aren't enough actual games. But that's fine. I'm gonna, I want to be a Dark Elf in Morrowind. It's kind of boring, but I'm going to be a Nord in Skyrim. We can be a Red Guard in the Red Guard Adventures. I was a Breton in Daggerfall. I don't know what I'm going to be a Wood Elf. Maybe Oblivion. But you can also be a, um, a Sewer uh, 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 Imperial in, uh, in Oblivion as well, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. I, I should, I, you know what, I probably should be a Wood Elf, because I should do one playthrough with, like, bow and arrow. Yeah, I suppose. So, Breton is the best choice for what I want to make my character, because it's got high intelligence. I want to go all magic. Okay? Last time, Daggerfall, I tried to be a little bit more magic-y, but I ended up just relying on Longblade, as I usually do, and using magic as kind of a you know, an additional helper. Unlike Arena, where I was just full-on knight with no magic whatsoever. But in this game, I want to get full magicka. Um, I even took contemplating uh, making all weapons um, banned. And I tried, like, punching enemies when I ran out of magicka. And, yeah, well, I mean, level one enemies, you can do it, but I think I might just I might give myself a short blade, because that might help. So Breton is the best choice for me, because it's got all the high intelligence and willfulness, and, and it's got uh, a big bonus to destruction magic, but I've already been a Breton, so I'm going to be a High Elf. The tall, golden-skinned High Elves are easily equal to the Bretons <coughs> in sorceress ability due to their high intelligence, force of will, and agility. On, one on the one hand, they are more susceptible to spells. Oh, seriously? Fuck. Than the people of High Rock. On the other hand, their unique nature, by their unique nature, they are completely immune to paralyzation. Oh, well, that's good. So they get, they get, they get a, a short blade bonus, which would help if I ever need to use my knife. They've got some other bonuses there, too. I'm going to blow my nose. Fuck. So I really do hope this is recording well, <laughs> because I had to like tricky, tricky dick, um, start the recording so we could capture that intro movie. Um, sometimes it fucks up, so hopefully that's not the case. <clears throat> Thankfully, we're not really doing much. Now, yeah. all right, click on the metallic arrows to review different uh, appearances of hair. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Also, she's naked. Yeah, she's naked. <coughs> Randomized face. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's funky. Eh. Wait, was that an afro? Yes. Oh, good. 
Photo towel, but it's white. Hey, you know what we can make? Well, you, you need to you need to have a white skin girl. That's true. Wait, you want to make fucking Daenerys Targaryen? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, was that a Mohawk? Um, uh, maybe. That was the Afro. Yeah. Right, so what I want, there was a hair here that I want. And it is basically a black ponytail. There you go. With eyes, what do we got for eyes? Uh, this one? I think this one, yeah. With the mouth, who really gives a shit? Just, a, just, just give me a normal mouth, thank you. Alright, done. New players, for quick start, select the Spell Sword or Battle Mage from the existing class options. These classes feature well balanced uh, mixtures of fighting, athletic, and spellcasting skill with appropriate uh, attributes, scores, and equipment. Various players, build a new class or experiment merit with the various existing classes. Uh, yep, yep, I'm fine tuned. Yep, 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 okay, right, great, thank you. So, what are the existing classes? Choose one of the 18 classes. There's actually 19 there, just so you know. Because I made one. Review your menu. I thought this game didn't come with a menu. Alright, so there's Battle Mage. Burglar Bard. I feel like a lot of these classes are just fucking stupid and useless. So we have the Shrine War Maiden. Which is the class that I made. Let's pick that. Alright. So, d have I already, like, done spells and stuff? I have. Great. This is amazing, because it's, al it's already all done for me. <clears throat> Alright, so you get, you get, basically, you get points. You can use these points to do things, like, give yourself more skill points. Which costs, like, 99 points to give yourself a, a, a single skill point. Or you give yourself more health. Or you can beef up your skills, spells, you can also, you can actually start with equipment and magical items. And of course, advantages and disadvantages. So let's have a look at everything. <coughs> First of all, we've got our skill, our, our stats. So I'm going, I'm going all battle, I'm going to go all uh, magic. So we've got zero strength, or well, ten strength. I'm going to give myself a bunch of intelligence, a bunch of willpower. I've got no agility. This could be a problem. Agility is needed to hit the enemy. I don't know how that really works with uh, magic, but we'll go with that. We got a bunch of endurance to you know withstand attacks. So yeah, I've got ten speed, just like I did in Daggerfall. I've got ten luck, and I've got ten personality. But I feel like, how many points can I gather by making myself more squishy? Because the game starts you at fifty. I think at a point I had it like beefed all the way up to a hundred. So how much personality can I give myself? I would actually prefer to have a lot of personality because I want to be a I want to be a, a shrine maiden. So oh god, you need a lot. You need a lot of stuff. Shit. Okay. Well, across the bridge where it comes up. So I've already I've already fiddled around with this stuff. I've given myself as much destruction magic as I can. I think. Oh now I can't oh now I can't just now I can't put it lower than that. Oh whoops. Yeah, that's six is the max. And then was there any other skills that I wanted to increase? No. That's the skills I don't really even need. I just got all the magic skills. Got restoration. Do you wanna be oh, 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 can I lower it? You can. If you wanted to. Huh. Because you can sacrifice some of that other stuff. <clears throat> I just feel like destruction is the way to go. The higher the destruction, well, I can't make it any higher. That's true. But I can give myself more personality or more wounds. Mm. Like I don't need critical strike. I don't need swimming. Oh, I think you'll find that you will. <laughs> I don't need backstabbing. That, that's true, you don't need backstabbing. I don't really need stealth. 
kind of need jumping. Kind of need dodging. Might leave those. I don't actually know what these... These skills do. How much personality can I give myself? I, I would, I'd really like to get 77 personality. Though I feel like you're going to have to... Oh, you can't, you can't reduce your wounds lower than 50. <coughs> but yeah, well, imagine if you had one wound. You'd die in one hit. That'd be not good. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, so we got some spells. And, <clears throat> actually, now that I think about it, some of these spells I probably don't need. So we got Monster Summoning. I don't really know what it does. I just kind of wanted it, because I thought that'd be cool. But, you know, I think I might delete that. Uh, so I've got Invisibility, I've got Slow Fall, which I feel might be useful. I've got Cause Damage, that's going to be my main, my main damage dealer. I've got Health, I have Jumping, which would help in some situations. i got Teleport, i got Shield, and i got Ethereal, uh, to, to this. So give myself some more personality. Okay. So I've given myself some equipment. Wise Warriors outfit with a primary weapon. In your, be in your best weapon skill, add a suit of armor, helmet, cuirass, gauntlets, paladins, graves, boots. If the point cost of a complete suit of armor seems too dear, you must settle for a few good pieces. Those with good missile skills will want to include a bow or crossbow, and must get a supply of arrows. Well, I'm not doing that, so that's fine. So, I've given myself some stuff. This stuff costs nothing, so I just put it on there. You know, like cape, skirt. A skirt? Oh, a skirt. Oh. Tunic. I got a dagger. Oh, wait, this isn't the stuff that I've actually got. This is the stuff that you can get. Oh, shit. Oh, give me the skirt. I didn't know you could get I didn't. I did, 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 did not know you could get a skirt. Maybe, maybe I haven't actually equipped my item, my, uh, items, uh, equipment yet. Maybe not. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I haven't actually picked my, my stuff. So maybe, oh shit, so maybe I have to pick my stuff again. Oh, wait, oh, here it is. Oh, no, okay, it is all here. Yeah, so I got, I got, a, I got a thong. I got a cape, which looks stupid, you know. So, there are gauntlets, but it costs a lot of points to get this stuff. So, I figured I'm just going to go regular clothes and chance it. So, I got this shitty-ass dagger. What other daggers did they have? That was 90. That cost 90. What else you got? Uh, well, that's quite a bit better and only a little bit more expensive. That's even better, but a lot more expensive, so... I'll just go with the shitty dagger. I've, I've decided to give myself the ability to use a sword sword, um, just in case. Because just punching enemies is... no. That's not gonna work. You know, you should just give yourself more to... look, you can just throw them away later. They're free. Just take it. Just take it all. I don't know why, I need so, many st so much stuff. Ah, uh, fuck it. Why not? It's free! Oh, you said that already. So there's magical items too. Oh, shit. Review the magical items available in descriptions, the origins, powers of us, shroud of mystery, however, yada yada yada, no one cares. Alright, note healing items, restore, lost wound points, magical respirators. Yeah, so, I... I'm not gonna get any potions. But... There are magical items here. What does is, what is Lesser Vigil do? What does it do? Oh, red is the power of minus shield. Okay. Uh, okay. Heals. Oh! There's your, your monster summoning. Without actually having the spell. But I feel like that actually costs more. It does, yeah. Ooh, a sword of snow. Tunic of subtle force. Okay. 
So I've got this. Maybe I should get rid of this. What's it? Mm, I don't know. Basically what this does is I can use it, I don't know, 10 times. Yeah, I think I can use it 10 times because it uses 10% every time. And it will restore my magic up. After that, it's fucking gone. But hey, that might be a useful thing to have at the beginning of the game. I don't know. Just saying. W what about potions? Is there a potion that will just give me uh No. There's a, there's a, one of the spells is like, uh, Reflection. Which looks really cool, which sounds really cool, except that magic users, magic enemies, like, if you've got the Reflection on, they just stop attacking you. But they, they, uh, like, attack you with melee, wait for you to run out of, uh, wait for the spell to go away, and then go back to using magic spells. So it's kind of pointless anyway. Uh, I'll keep it for now. Let's look at our advantages and disadvantages. Okay, yeah. So I've gone to town here. So we've got all weapons forbidden, including mis including uh, missile, which is uh, bow and arrow. Except I've given myself the ability to use uh, short sword. Um, heavy armor, the daedric armor is forbidden. But I mean, there's no apparently there's no way to just make it available. It's weird. So, what this is, this is the maximum level that is forbidden. So, of course, if I say, if I go all the way down to iron, I get a ton of points. But now I can't use iron or anything above that. I think that's what that means. What does it say, actually? Or maybe it means... You can use Daedric. Like, you can use Orcish, but you can't use Daedric. You can use Daedric. You can use anything. I don't know. I feel like you should make yourself use, uh... Ah, I don't know about that. You can just, you can just go nuts and just do this. Look at all the points you got now. Yeah, but now I can't have armor. Let's talk about that later. Okay. So I have a critical weakness to fire, ice, and shock. There's a reason for this. I also have resistance. Oh, not immunity. Oh. I'm not immune. But I'm resistant to poison. Hang on, hold the fucking phone. I want to be resistant. I mean, immune. Can I... Can I do that? No. Oh, I can do that. Really? Wait, hang on a second. Why do I have... Why do I have so many points? Because you took this off. Oh, of course. Yeah, I know. So how many points do you need to do? All of it. Oh, shit. So I can make myself completely immune to poison, or completely immune to... Wait, magic? Wait, sorry, magic? That's what it says. I thought that was... I thought that was disease. Hang on, if I'm immune to magic... Huh? Okay, so I've given myself a... Hold the fucking phone. Let me just, uh, do that and do that for a second. So, I've given myself a critical weakness to fire, ice, and, uh, shock. Because I've got spell absorption. The thing that I should have done in Daggerfall, but I didn't. So, I'm going to be weak to these things, but I'm going to absorb them, and that's going to give me intelligence. I mean, it's going to give me, uh, spell points. I can also regenerate spell points, regenerate health, and I have rapid healing. Wait, how, much, how many points does that give you? But hold on. Uh, hang on. Maybe I don't... Maybe I want this. Because wouldn't I want to be... Wouldn't I want to have a critical weakness to magic as well? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what magic means. Shit, I might have to look that up. Because, uh... 
That might mean, like, magical effects, at which point it would be bad. If it's just raw magic, like, non-elemental magic, yeah, break this is out. I'm gonna leave it for now, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself immune to poison, because poison's a pain out. yeah, that's true. So apparently there's no disease in this game. Wow. I don't know. Alright, now give myself three times the intelligence points. Okay, well that's... Oh, that's... That's weird. That is weird. So I still kind of want some more, uh, perception. I mean, uh, personality. I wouldn't advise... I'd, I'd advise against it. I would, I would... Honestly, I would advise, uh you to just put your personality back to zero, or back to ten, and give yourself more wounds. I think you're gonna want your wounds, buddy. And get that, get that spell back. The, the, make the monster spell. Why? Yeah, it's fun, it'll be a fun spell. Who needs personality? Well, Shrine Maiden should be, should be good at talking. Cause the Shrine Maiden. Okay, so I had a little look, and apparently, this is just raw magic. So I should give myself a critical weakness to that as well. Now, it, it is important to note that spell absorption doesn't work every time. And, um, if, you're, if, you've, if I've got full magicka, I won't absorb it. I'll just take the damage. Also, this, yeah, this is... This does mean I can use Daedric, but if it's on, for example, Orcish, it means I can use Orcish or lower, but I can't use above, i.e. Daedric. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what I want to do here. Because, like, if I went stupid and went no armor, and I might as well do this as well, and then I came back here, I could, I guess I could give myself the personality I want. And I should have a bunch left over to give myself a whole bunch of extra wounds. Which would be useful if I have no armor. Right? Right. How high can I go? How high can he go? Not to a hundred. Oh, oh, you never know. Oh, you never know. Oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit, it's still going! Okay, well that's a lot of points. I mean, that's a lot of wounds. If I stick that to a hundred, man. And then I can get that stupid magic, that stupid spell that you wanted. I don't know why, but I don't know. Sure, fine. I've, I've got 200 left over. I've got a I, Now I've got maximum personality. That's cool. Okay, well this isn't, okay, this isn't too bad, except for the one really huge caveat that I could die at a moment, notice, if I don't, if I, if I'm not careful with my spell absorption, and I have no armor, and I can't, oh, I can increase, oh, oh, well, that's useless, hmm, hmm, I don't know about this, bro. Can't I can't take that off now. I don't know about this, bro. Mm. What you could do, actually, is you could put short blade in here somewhere and like beef it up a little bit. Like uh, I don't know where you'd want to put it. Good replace. I don't know. Swimming. By the way, for, uh. All the all the skills that aren't here automatically are at five percent. So you might as well get rid of these if you're gonna put them down to five percent anyway. So if I put short blade in here, I kind of beef that up a little bit. That's as high as ever go. Huh? <sighs> Give myself some critical. Well. Wait, why did that go up so high? Why can't I add another point to... It's because my agility is low. Oh, agility. Yeah. That's what I should increase. 
That should increase my agility. That. Is it happy with that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I'm going to save it. Yep, save it. Okay. So that's this is War Shrine Shrine War Maiden 2. Shouldn't it be called War Shrine Maiden? No, because she's War Maiden, get it? She's a War Maiden, but she also works at a shrine. Okay. I think this is a bad idea. It's probably a bad idea. Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, I think this is gonna put us straight into the game. It sure is. Alright. So we're gonna we're gonna stop the video here because we've gone way over uh, 15 minutes anyway. But that's fine. It's the first episode. So press enter and hold for the what? Press enter and hold for the plus cursor with the plus cursor active. Oh, okay. Press enter to touch stuff. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Command bar. Two flasks indicate your wounds and spell points. This is the command bar. It's got your spell box, your auto map. Wait, auto. Which one's auto map? This one. Auto map, inventory, controls. But we're just going to be using the keyboard for that anyway. In fact, we should figure out how to do full screen. Comes on the right, shows the direction. Press your tab toggles between full screen. Okay, there you go. Okay. To move in the view base scheme, left click to talk to a creature, fire ready to spell, right click to move, right to move the monster's move. Press A to armor weapon. A to armor weapon? Okay. Press F10 to equip a weapon. Wait, what? What's the difference between arm and. I don't know what that means. Use the up arrow to step forward, down arrow. Yeah, or in my case, WS, there's the. Press F10 to. Oh, okay, that's. Okay, I've already changed that. F9 skills, yeah. Okay. F11, auto map. I forgot what I set that to. We've got spellbook. Review your spellbook and assign spells to hotkeys. Ooh. Do this right away if you have spells. Hotkeys make quick casting a cinch. Seems useful. Escape to get to the settings. Alt, or I believe space in my case, is jump. Okay. Or oh, duck is spacebar. And ram is spacebar. Wait, to duck press spacebar and pull back on the mouse. To ram press spacebar and push forward on the mouse. That's weird. Gathering loot. God damn my nose, man. My nose just loves to get blocked when I start recording. Yada yada yada. So there's a sack. Oh, what is this? Weapon level four? Or look under a rug for a trap. Oh, there's trap doors under rugs. Good to know. Text messages. When, it, to, when the answer to a riddle or password is required. Okay. Okay. Let's save the game. Also, let's fix up the sound. This is way too loud. Also, there's been no music right now. But, can you. Thank you. Stop the talk I'm doing. Let's start the game. So, I have this other save, which is with me not having the personality, but I'm gonna. We're, 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 we'll try this. Right, let's save it. Right. We'll just save it as that. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. So, here we are. Um. Right, well, yeah, when we come back, we will um, continue our journey in uh, Battle Spire. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.